What's up out there, YouTubers? I need you to subscribe to J Ray's Chaos. It'll be peakerific. And welcome back, everybody. <laughs> it is Saturday. <laughs> and what the heck am I doing? Yeah, well, see, considering the last couple of Friday videos haven't gone exactly uh, the way I intended them to, um, so essentially I've just failed the last two Fridays as far as making the video that I intended on making for uh, several different reasons. <laughs> uh, so I decided, you know what? Uh, my loyal and faithful viewers deserve better. So what do they get? They get a double or nothing weekend celebrating the failures of Ray's Chaos. <laughs> and uh, of course, when I do a double or nothing, do double or nothing weekend, that usually involves two Funko Pops that are very, that have a tie together or are just flat out the same person. And uh, in this case, I have Deathstroke the Terminator in... Uh, both in two different versions of him. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and uh, put this guy away and let's get into this. So I have two of these. Um, one is from the, the, I mean, just basically the Heroes line, obviously. Um, a newer version of him. And then the Funko Shop exclusive of Deathstroke the Terminator as he initially appeared way back in 1980. In the Teen Titans number two. Um, it's another one of those situations as had this, this one been available when when I bought this one, I would have gotten this one and I'd only have one. Um, <laughs> but uh, being as how it ends up, I have two. Technically I have three because I do have the Red Hood, uh, uh, Red Hood and Deathstroke uh, face-off thing that they sent me from pop in a box once um that that it's cool but like yeah it's it's a little more than than i really would want i'm not the biggest fan of deathstroke the terminator um i know he's like a super popular character um but that doesn't necessarily mean Ray's is gonna follow him um his initial story in joining that what in fighting uh well that spun off from his initial appearance, um, he led directly into the Judas contract, where uh, Terra was infiltrating the Titans to be to turn on them. Um, but the thing is, she was having a relationship with Deathstroke the Tournament with Slade Wilson, a, very, a much older man, and she was a teenager. And I know they've retconned it to be a little bit, uh, a little bit more digestible but to me um yeah Slade Wilson is somebody that took advantage of a super powered little teenage girl and um <laughs> basically he's a trafficker um groomed her whatever I mean that they they made him the most despicable in my opinion um but uh honestly um it is really cool though uh to that he is such a despicable character I just don't appreciate how popular he is as far as people thinking he's cool. <laughs> but uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, take these guys out and have a look at them one at a time, starting with the one I've had the longest, and this is uh, the new, a newer version of Deathstroke the Terminator. So we're going to take him out. And here he is in the full pose. He's got the mask tied back. This looks more like a... Uh, a helmet with face guard going on on his face. Um, a lot more armored up uh, in the later years. Uh, and I love the detail on this because he's just got knife holsters everywhere. The pouches, which of course, these two swords and everything. He was, he is just ready for action. And um, yeah, he's, he's, he's a very strong character. And uh he was always, I mean, he was always somebody to be wary of every time you saw him pop up. And he started popping up more in the 2000s. Um, and uh, pretty much to the DC Universe in general. Um, they tried to make him an anti-hero, I believe. They gave him his own series. I mean, he's always been popular. And uh, 
they just did. They, I, I believe they tried to push him as far as they could go. And since then, he has appeared in, uh, in Arrow. He's appeared in, uh, I believe he was in the, the Justice League movie very briefly. Um, but, uh, yeah, they try and really try and, uh, and push him up there as far as being one of the baddest of the bad. Um, and, uh, they do a pretty good job of it. Um, I always thought it was cute that, uh, Deathstroke had to be changed to Slade in the, in the, uh, Titans animated series because Deathstroke was a little bit too much and the Terminator was pretty much just as bad. So they just called him Slade. <laughs> Slade Wilson, and if the fact that a certain other character is known as Wade Wilson, and you discover a similarity there, that's not unintentional, despite what the creator claims. Uh, especially because the creator was working on the Titans right before he switched over and uh, to X Force, and um, basically brought uh, the bad, the badass mercenary with him. And only changed him slightly. Yes, Deadpool is a knockoff of Deathstroke. I, I can I can hear fanboys crying right now. Sorry, but let's get over to the 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 main the main Deathstroke. I guess you'd say this is this is the one that I just immediately had to have the moment I saw him. Um, because you know Ray's goes nuts for a comic accurate character. So we're going to go ahead and take this out and we're going to have a look at him. And boom, here he is with his staff, his charged staff. He doesn't have the, I mean, obviously they couldn't do it to where they had his sword in a sheath that's, that goes up his back with the, the large Funko head. Um, that could, that had, that couldn't work out quite right. What I do love is that, uh, unlike, yeah, this one really kind of uh, gives you a better look at uh, the fact that he is missing an eye and uh, there is no visor or anything over this eye. It is just his naked eye because this is skin tight clothing. Um, he is a he one of the cute things about this character, um, especially when he was initially created, um, they the creators tend to latch onto something that they've heard. And even if that gets disproven later, they tend to, uh, uh, they try and justify it in another way. Uh, initially, Deathstroke had gone on to, uh, gone under a lot of experimentation, government experiments, to make him the perfect soldier. And one of the things they did was unlock the fact that humans only use 10% of their brains. Now, that is a very outdated process. Our, uh, uh, thought process. Um, the fact is, is technically humans use 100% of their brains, just not up to its full capacity. Um, but different sections do different things. So yes, although it kind of grazes over it, um, they, they were trying to emphasize that he was better because he could, he could use more than 10% of his brain. Um, and that worked for him for a long time. Um, one of the fun things, one of the things that always struck me uh, interesting about uh, Deathstroke the Terminator in the Titans was that he was apparently the most deadly assassin on Earth. And yet he was pretty much fighting the Junior Justice League. Um, because since Marv Wolfman and uh, George Perez had cre created him, um, they used him in their stories, and uh, yeah, all the other creators didn't really know what to do with it because it was their creation, and uh, so they pretty much let them explore him as much as they wanted to, and it wasn't until much later before other creators uh, or writers decided to try and use him in other things, but in all honesty, with everything that Deathstroke was supposed to be, he should have been somebody that you know, Batman should not have allowed uh, finding out that this this guy is who's fighting his young ward. <laughs> um, essentially, Dick Grayson grew up fighting this lunatic. So, I mean, is there any reason why I think he's better? <laughs> yeah, because Death, Death, Deathstroke was, was losing to Dick like when he was still a kid. <laughs> 
But uh, the story goes that uh, the Ravager had uh, had taken up a contract with the Hive to assassinate the Teen Titans, uh, the new Teen Titans, and uh, when he essentially killed himself trying to do so, uh, Deathstroke came to avenge his son and complete the last last job that his son had taken on. And, uh, of course, that's caused all kinds of complications, and they've jumped through different kind of loopholes. Uh, Deathstroke has been an ally on several of occasions. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's just one of those things where uh, a lot of times when you have, like, a character that, the, that, that people enjoy, you don't want to relegate him to being a villain. Um, unfortunately, with Deathstroke, that's how it works best. And... Uh, you can't really soften him because, I mean, he's done too much. Uh, so as much as they want to keep pushing him and putting him in everything, he has to remain a villain. He can't suddenly have a change of heart and be a good guy. Um, they just give him morals, which I don't necessarily agree to, considering, like I said earlier, he is a trafficker. <laughs> he is somebody who has groomed a, t a child into, uh, into and just tossed her away when he was done. Um, but still, having the baddest of the bad, the baddest of, one of the baddest of the Teen, teen Titans, the Teen Titans really had some seriously, uh, much better villains than the Justice League did for a while there. Uh, that's probably why they were the top selling book for the longest time while Wolfman and Perez were, were running the show. Um, but, uh, now I have them both and, uh, I've been contemplating whether I'm going to keep this guy or not. Um, I guess I'll have to look to see what, uh, what I can get out of the other one because basically this is the only one I need and, uh, and I have technically I have three now, so who knows what I'm going to do with it. But anyway, I am hoping that giving you this bonus, bonus video this, this week, uh, makes up for the fact that. The last couple week Friday videos have not been the best. Um, technical and stupidity errors galore going on. Uh, just a little too excited about C2E2 that, uh, yeah, I just get overexcited and end up ruining it. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and get out of here now. Let me know which one of these two are your favorites as far as which one you would go with if you had the choice. Um... And, uh, <laughs> let me know how long you've been following Deathstroke back when he was relegated just to the Titans or after he expanded into the rest of the DC universe. Um, and, uh, yeah, <laughs> just talk to me down in the comments about, uh, Deathstroke the Terminator. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here now. I hope you have a great day and never forget the life is full of odd moments. You never know when you're going to be defined. <laughs>